Hey everyone, welcome to another deep dive here on Deep Dive. We're going to navigate through a sea of information about robots and artificial intelligence today. Robotics, how cool is that? And the material you sent, wow, incredible. You know, it got me thinking, are we heading towards a future where robots will be as common as smartphones? Wow, that's the million dollar question, right? I think everyone is asking themselves that. That's right. And the number of humanoid robots that are popping up is mind blowing. There's Chiangong, example. Ah, Chiangong. Yes. It uses artificial intelligence to interact with everything, with the environment, and can even assist in various areas. Tourism, healthcare, education. Wow. Just imagine you go to a museum and a robot is the one guiding you through the artworks. That's crazy. That would be amazing. It doesn't stop there. There are robotic cranes too. Seriously. Robotic cranes. Designed to tackle any situation, any terrain. We saw in your files that these little robotic creatures can be used in rescue missions, you know, carrying weight over rough terrain. Yeah. Seems like robotics is really saving lives out there. Impressive. And speaking of saving lives, medical robots are really shining in medicine. Surgeries with millimeter precision. Complex procedures carried out with more safety. Who would have thought we'd reach a point where robots operate on people, right? Yeah, really. It sounds like something out of science fiction. That's right. And the coolest part is that this could democratize access to healthcare, you know, bringing cutting edge treatment to more remote areas. You like the meaning. And Ingenii is also in the game, right? Developing robots like the ECR-01, which seems to be designed for mass production. The idea is to popularize robotics, bringing this technology to industry and education. Interesting. So, engineering is focused on more practical solutions. Yeah. While clone robotics uh, with the clone alpha robot is more interested in replicating human physiology, use artificial muscles powered by water, you know? Wow, that's cool. These robots move like real people, right? Awesome, right? But tell me something. Doesn't all this evolution of humanoid robots make you a little worried? Ah, uh, just a little bit. We saw that mass automation have a huge impact on the job market. That's true. I'll ensure all these people don't end up unemployed. Yeah, that's the big question, right? We need to think about how to prepare the workforce for this new reality. Investing in education and training for future professions. Creating public policies that minimize the impact of automation on the job market. After all, the idea is that technology benefits society as a whole, right? That's true. Changing the subject a bit, let's talk about this revolution in video generation with AI. Google launched VO2, a tool that promises cinema quality videos. Cinema quality? How amazing. That's right. And what blew my mind was VO2's ability to interpret specific commands like about lenses, camera angles, and visual effects. It's like having a freelance cinematographer working for you. Wow, that's awesome. And the resolution? The resolution. Up to 4K? A huge leap, right? Goodbye pixelated images. It seems that Ian is raising the bar for audiovisual computer production. So, what did you think about the comparison with Sora from OpenAI? Look, both are amazing. But it seems that VO2 has a slight edge in movement precision and visual consistency. At least that's what the tests say. Yeah, it does seem that way. And Google implemented SynthD watermark to identify videos generated by Ian. Oh, that's cool. A great initiative to combat misinformation, right? And the use of sneak fakes. For sure. But speaking of innovative tools, Google also launched Whisk, which mixes photos with artistic styles to create images. Wow, that's interesting. It's a more visual approach to design, you know. Perfect for those who want to experiment with new ideas. Just imagine beginner designers creating amazing pieces with the help of Whisky. Yeah, it's really cool. And Imagine 3 is also impressive. It generates images in various styles from photorealism to impressionism. Wow, the creative possibilities are endless. Yes, and do you know why it's more or less like that? AI isn't just replicating existing styles, but creating new ones by combining different influences. It's like the machine has expanded the boundaries of art. That's true. And big names like James Cameron and Andy Serkis are already using AI in film production. Showing that this technology didn't come to replace human creativity, but to give it a boost, to open new horizons. They are definitely visionaries. But now, to wrap up the first part of our dive, Fallout 4 from Microsoft. This AI model is showing that size doesn't matter. Really? Tell me more. With just 14 billion parameters, FIQ4 has outperformed giant models like Google's Gemini Pro and OpenAI's GPT-4. Mathematical reasoning and problem-solving tests, Microsoft is putting on a show of innovation. Wow. And how did they achieve that? It seems that FIQ4 uses high-quality synthetic data and human-generated data combined with super-advanced learning techniques. This approach allows the model to adapt to complex real-world tasks more efficiently. Wow, that's interesting. And this efficiency translates to lower consumption of computational resources, right? Exactly. Companies looking for high performance without spending a fortune on infrastructure are going to love FI4. And Microsoft, to ensure that no one uses FI4 to do anything foolish, has implemented content filters and 
very strict testing protocols. Safety first. Yeah, ethics has to be the guiding principle in any AI development. It's essential that these models are trained with quality data, free from biases, that they are used in a transparent and responsible manner. Undoubtedly. And for those who are curious, Pi 4 is available for testing in Azure AI Foundry. Microsoft plans to make it available on other platforms, making this technology even more accessible. What great news, right? Wonderful. FI4 invites us to rethink what we consider success in AI development. Instead of being obsessed with the size of the models, we need to prioritize the quality of the data, the efficiency of the training, and the applicability in the real world. And we're back with the second part of our dive. Get your diving helmets ready because now you're going to dive even deeper into this ocean of information about robots and AI. That's right. Diving in head first. And speaking of robots, what really impressed me in the materials you sent is this race to create humanoid robots that look more and more like us. Even science fiction movies. True. And this quest for robotic perfection is driving innovation in various areas. We saw, for example, you iron from Xpeng, that Chinese company that makes electric cars. This is Xpeng. And iron is already working on their production lines, helping with the assembly of the vehicles. Wow. A practical example of how robotics is integrating into the industry. True. Speaking of robots that are already making a difference in the real world, Boston Dynamics is also putting on a show with Atlas. Did you see those videos? Atlas? Yeah, I saw them. Atlas's movements are so fluid that it's hard to believe it's a machine. Yeah, they even look human. Awesome, right? And Atlas is becoming more and more independent, performing complex tasks without needing help from humans. It seems like the era of autonomous robots is getting closer and closer. That's true. And Clone Robotics with Clone Alpha is also doing well in this quest for realistic movements. They use artificial muscles powered by water. Did you know? Yes. Which allows for incredible flexibility and strength. Yeah, Clone Robotics is thing on biomimicry replicating human biology in their robots. A super innovative approach. And that can have applications in various areas. The health industry. But with so many robots popping up everywhere, we need to stop and think about the ethical and social challenges that this technological revolution brings. For sure. Large-scale automation impact the job market. And we need to ensure that this technology benefits society as a whole. Undoubtedly. It's essential that governments, businesses, and civil society work together to create public policies that prepare the workforce for this new reality. Investing in education and training for future professions is essential. Yeah, so that no one gets left behind in this technological race. And speaking of the future, China is heavily investing in artificial intelligence and robotics, right? China is always at the forefront. We saw that unitary Agash-1 robot at the World Voice Expo with an impressive speed of movement. True. An example of China's potential in this field. And they are integrating AI into everyday products as well. Smart mice. Glasses with integrated AI. We can expect a lot of new things coming from the East. And we can't forget about the startups that are driving innovation in this field. Physical intelligence, for example, developed the P0, platform for AI for generalist robots. The Pi Zero. Cool. Yeah. It integrates vision, language, and motor commands. Wow, that's interesting. The Pi Zero is an example of how ISA has made one of the most versatile and adaptable robots capable of learning new tasks without needing constant reprogramming. Just imagine how wonderful it would be to have a robot at home that could, I don't know, fold laundry, wash the dishes, prepare dinner. Ah, uh, that would be a dream. It would be... But speaking of dreams, I'm going to get back to reality and dive headfirst into the world of video generation with AI. In the first part of our deep dive, we saw that Google's VO2 it's promising to revolutionize audiovisual production with cinema quality. Yeah, the VO2 is really impressive. And it's not just the VO2 that's making waves. WISC, also from Google, is an amazing tool for anyone looking to unleash their creativity and create images by combining reference photos with artistic styles. Ah, this is amazing. And Imagen3, also from Google, takes image creation to another level, allowing the generation of content in various artistic styles, from photorealism to impressionism. Wow. The creative possibilities are truly endless. And that's because AI isn't just replicating existing styles, but also creating new ones. It's like the machine is pushing the boundaries of art, right? Creating new forms of art. And speaking of setting limits, Microsoft's Fi4 is showing the world that size doesn't matter when it comes to artificial intelligence. Fi4 is an example of this. With just 14 billion parameters, it's challenging giants like Gemini Pro and GPT-4. Incredible, right? Proving that the Quality of data, intelligence, and model design are more important than the number of parameters. Definitely. And Microsoft managed to create a model that is both so efficient and so powerful. Yeah. Fi4 uses high-quality synthetic data combined with human-generated data and advanced learning techniques to adapt to complex real-world tasks. And this efficiency translates to lower computational resource consumption, right? Exactly. 
FI4 is an accessible solution for companies of all sizes. Finally, cutting-edge AI is within reach of startups and small businesses. And Microsoft, always concerned with ethics and safety, has implemented content filters and rigorous testing protocols to ensure that FI4 is used responsibly. Yeah, ethics has to be a notch in any AI development. It's essential that these models are trained, quality data free from biases, and that they are used transparently. Undoubtedly. And for those who are curious, we Quick 4 is available for testing on Azure AI Foundry. Microsoft plans to make it available on other platforms, making this technology even more accessible. Wonderful news. FI4 invites us to rethink what we consider success in AI development. Instead of being obsessed with the size of the models, we need to prioritize the quality of the data, the efficiency of the training, and the applicability in the real world. We're back for the last part of our deep dive. Now we're going to explore the depths of video generation with AI and uncover these compact models, right? That's right. I'm ready to dive in. We saw in the previous parts how robotics and AI were advancing quickly, right? But what really impressed me was this visual revolution, you know? With AI, Google's VO2. Yeah, VO2. It's amazing. It's proof that we're entering a new era of audiovisual production. Totally. Remember when we used to talk about how cool it would be to have a virtual director of photography? Oh, I remember that. Right, VO2 is just that. It really is. It understands specific commands like about lenses, camera angles, and visual effects. Wow, it delivers the results. Even the most experienced filmmakers would applaud. Yeah. And the image quality, right? Resolution of up to 4K, breathtaking. Goodbye, pixelated videos. Even raising the level of content production and democratizing access to tools that only big studios had before. True, democratizing keyword. And speaking of democratization, Google also launched the UASK. Right, a tool that puts the power of image creation in the hands of anyone. Ah, the US. Yeah, mixing reference photos with artistic styles has never been easier. Yeah, and it's fun. And MGM3, right? It takes image creation to another level. It generates content in various artistic styles, from photorealism to impressionism. Wow. The possibilities are endless. What fascinates me is that the AI isn't just replicating existing styles, but creating new ones by combining different influences. Sometimes the machine is pushing the boundaries of artistic expression. Opening doors to new forms of art. And, speaking of pushing boundaries, Microsoft's FI4, showing that size doesn't matter when it comes to artificial intelligence. With just 14 billion parameters, this compact model is challenging the giants, like Gemini Pro and GPT-4, proving that the quality of the data and the intelligence in the model design are more important than the number of parameters. FI4 is proof of that. Yeah, Microsoft managed to create a model that's both efficient and awful. FI Q4 uses high-quality synthetic data combined with human-generated data and advanced learning techniques to adapt to complex real-world tasks. Yeah, and this efficiency translates to lower computational resource consumption. Exactly. Wi-Fi has an affordable solution for businesses of all sizes. Finally, cutting-edge AI is within reach for startups and small businesses. Awesome. And Microsoft, always concerned with ethics and safety, has implemented content filters and rigorous testing protocols to ensure that FIQ4 is used responsibly. After all, AI is a powerful tool, and we need to be careful that it isn't used for various purposes. Absolutely. Ethics is fundamental in any AI development. It's important that these models are trained with quality data, free from biases, and that they are used transparently. That's right. And with that, we come to the end of our journey through the world of robotics and AI. I hope you all enjoyed our dive and learned a lot about these technologies. Yeah, we'll see you in the next dive. Keep exploring, learning, and marveling at the endless possibilities that technology offers us. Bye-bye-bye.